Okay guys, so you saw last week, uh, I went on my first run in the, uh, the new uh, running zone, kind of over my shoulder there. It's nice because it's a dirt track. And uh, so uh, I went, I didn't go very quick last week because I was really just kind of checking it out for the first time. And so now I'm going to uh, try it again and uh, see if we can improve on our time and uh, you know, just enjoy the run. So it's uh, Sunday afternoon. We did about 42 kilometers this morning on the bike and now we're gonna go for a run, all right. Okay, so back on the trail again and uh, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm not gonna film as much today because I really wanna try to focus on getting in the rhythm and the run because we have, we have a running event coming up this week. So we're gonna be doing a 340, 3K, 40K, 3K uh, duathlon, just a CRZ event, which is always fun because uh, it's all CRZ people. So we like to encourage and support and compete against one another all in good fun. So no stress. But um, yeah, so I'm back here, <coughs> excuse me, across from uh, Midori uh, Hotel. And this is a great little dirt track. And uh, Coach Cruz is always adamant about not running on pavement if you don't, if you don't have to simply because you know it's it's a uh, high impact right running anyway um, so if you can run on something that's not concrete or asphalt you're better off so uh, yeah I'm gonna get going and uh, see what we can do on this trail again uh, today and uh, have some fun all right see you guys This is all still grass. Now they've cut the trail in completely. Awesome. Okay. Wow. All right, so I'm here. I'm at my turnaround point. Definitely faster than last week. Uh, earlier in the week, whatever it was. I can't remember now. <laughs> but I'm off road. Averaging around 6 km per hour, which I feel really good about. My uh, heart rate basically stayed the same throughout. So, a little bit anaerobic, which is fine. I'm not the best runner in the world. Uh, you know, I started out life as a football player and a rugby player, but that was always more about explosive running, not really running for distance, to be honest. I always hated running, always, but it was a necessary evil for the sports I played, even baseball, tennis, stuff like that, and uh, you know, at the upper levels of rugby, it was very common to run uh, four, five, even six miles in a game, depending on your position, so fitness was always a really important aspect to being a good athlete, but now I'm doing it because it's just part of my lifestyle, which is 
great and I love that but uh yeah definitely different kind of mental motivation for sure because you know nothing inside of me is really motivated to run um, I'll run after something and I'll run to get away from something you know there's like a bear chasing me or something but no bears in the Philippines so that's not a good analogy uh, yeah anyway so now I'm running and finding that personal motivation that mental inspiration to put those shoes on these shoes right here see look at those. those are my cool shoes they are super bright probably the brightest pair of shoes I've ever owned in my life um, but it's all mental now because you know when you're when your heart kind of doesn't want to do something but you know you got to do it you want to be prepared for the things that are coming up right so you have no choice but to get out there and get after it so that's what I'm doing I'm gonna do my part to prepare my body to uh, have a good event this weekend and uh, I'm gonna stick to the plan I'm gonna run on the dirt and uh, yeah go from there all right so I got to get back at it that was kind of a walking recovery and uh, now I'm gonna hammer it back up to the top and try to finish strong see you see you again okay one more time okay enough As I turn out all the lights All I want from you is to listen And remember the good times If you think of all that we leave out Is that when you're feeling blue I know nothing ever turned out As you want it to But every time I feel it Every time I breathe Every time I close my eyes It's coming right at me all over again Okay, 4.37 kilometers, and uh, I think for like 37 minutes, uh, averaging 6.38, so I'll take that on the dirt every day, it's actually a big improvement from the last time I ran here. But I think knowing the uh, layout has uh, helped quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so off-road training, really good for you. Obviously, you can still work up a sweat, uh, but this is really amazing to not have to run. By the way, look at this. It's just a beautiful night starting. So, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, I'm wearing Adidas shoes, but Adidas is not sponsoring this clip in any way. But if you want to, let's talk. Uh, neither is Nike. See, actually I have all three big brands on. Look at that, I got Under Armour on, I got Nike on, and of course I got my Adidas on. All of this being brought to you on my Huawei GT2 Pro. None of it sponsored, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, I'm still gonna be out here no matter what. All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish my uh, warm down walk and uh, head back to the car and uh, go home and have early dinner. It's been a long day. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking this out. I love sharing my life with you guys and the feedback I get is awesome. 
And uh, if there's anything you guys want to know about, any questions I can answer, just uh, hit that comment area, let me know. Uh, of course, if you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, Tank Nation, Cruise Control Multisport, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends. I would forever be grateful. And uh, let's continue to get our message out there. Anyone, anyone can do this if they want to. I was 49 years old, 119 kilos, obese, bad habits galore. And in the last year, maybe thanks to COVID, I've turned my life around completely. I'm healthier than I've ever been. I sleep like a baby at night, usually because I'm exhausted from all the stuff we're doing. But nevertheless, I sleep like a baby. Uh, all the important signs. Beats per minute when I'm doing my efforts. Uh, resting heart rate. All of those things are lower than they've ever been in my life. So, you know, at 50, the only way I'm able to hang with these young guys is to be healthy. And I mean healthy all the way around. Can't just be an effort that I do on the bike. Can't just be an effort that I do when I'm running. It's gotta be at home when I'm by myself, eating the right food, no matter what. If I'm going out someplace, just making sure I try extra hard to eat well. Um, don't get me wrong, a little splurge here and there doesn't hurt when you're this active, but it takes a while to get to where those types of things don't derail you. So my advice, if you're getting ready to start over, change your life, grab it by both horns, so to speak, right? Grab the bull by the horns and take control. Go all in. You're never, ever, ever gonna regret going all in on yourself. I promise, you will be a better you. That better you is gonna be better to your family, better to your job, better to your friends, better to people you don't even realize. I've, I've been blessed to find out about how my life experiences that I share with you guys have inspired others. And that just blows my mind, but I get it. You know, I've, I've watched other people, um, you know, Coach Cruz, uh, vegan cyclist, you know, you see pictures of that guy in some of his videos, you know, he was pretty pudgy, but he's not now. And stories like that really inspire me, you know? I see other people in just CRZ that have grabbed a hold of their life, like crazy stuff. And it's really amazing to see what they've done and what they continue to do. So, you know, shout out to Zaldi, Asher, uh, Kenny, we miss you every day, buddy. Um, you know, uh, Ali, Eric, Matt, you know, these are all some of my closest friends in CRZ. And every single one of us has participated in the nutrition uh, program to, to really enhance our lifestyle. So anyway, it's not an ad. We're not like that. We're not evangelizing. I just want to share that with you. So thanks again. I love talking to you guys. I love hanging out with you. I appreciate all of the, uh, the goodness you send my way. I feel that vibe all the time. And uh, yeah, now it is time to eat. All right. So one last look. It's been a great day. It's awesome, and it's finally over. All right, see you.